Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. Earthquake in the cities of Van and Aydin, Western Armenia. Cargo transportation and supplies to Artsakh carried out normally. 44 Armenians returned from Azerbaijani captivity. Hinshan remains under blockade by the Azerbaijanis. Silesia has become the largest landfill in Europe. Centennial Armenian Graphics 400 original works by Armenian artists represented at the exhibition. A strong earthquake shook the city of Van and Aydin in western Armenia. The quake which struck at a depth of 5 km above the Earth's surface. The quake which struck at a depth of 5 km above the Earth's surface caused panic in the city. According to the preliminary data, no casualties were reported due to the 4.7 magnitude earthquake. The epicenter of the quake was located in Tushpa province. Normal operation in trade and service spheres has been restored in Artsakh. Acting Minister of Economy and Productive Infrastructure of Artsakh, Armand Tolmaisan, told Armand Press, adding that many grocery stores are already operating in capital Stepanakert and administrative centers. He added that the amount of damage caused to the business sector due to the war has not been assessed yet. Before that, it was necessary to restore the infrastructure necessary for the restoration of their work. At the next stage, the amount of damages caused will be assessed, the Acting Minister informed. Republic of Armenia Deputy Prime Minister Tigran Avignon presented details of the prisoner exchange process. As reported by Armand Press, Avignon stated on his Facebook page that on December 14, a process of exchange of prisoners took place through the mediation of Russian peacekeepers. 44 of our officially confirmed compatriots have returned to Armenia from Azerbaijan. At this stage, the Armenian citizens whose captivity has been confirmed by the Azerbaijani Red Cross are being returned. The process of finding our missing, possibly captured other compatriots and Organizing their return continues intensively. Additional information will be provided later, said the Gran Avignon. Hinshan village of Artsakh is still under blockade by Azerbaijanis. Only one thing has changed since yesterday, that the Russian peacekeepers are patrolling the village. The mayor of Hinshan, Sanva Sarkisyan, informed about this. It should be noted that according to the Russian war Gonzo, the village was no longer under the control of the enemy, but Sarkisyan denied. The residents have not been evacuated, the road is closed, and the residents do not want to leave the village, mentioned the mayor. It should be noted that due to the capitulation act signed on November 9, Hinshan was not among the territories to be it over to the enemy. According to the map of Russian peacekeepers, it was initially marked in their zone of control. Plastic waste from all over Europe are gathered in Silesia, which poses a serious environmental challenges. Piles of this garbage have multiplied in Silesia in the two years since China closed its doors. Silesia became the main landfill for waste from Europe last year. But at what cost? Garbage sent by the United Kingdom, France, Italy or the Netherlands to Chukurova, Jehan in Adana province is collected in rivers and along roadsides. This waste, which needs to be recycled, sometimes burns, causing environmental problems. Many activists fear that these problems will become worse as the amount of European waste continues to grow. Last year, Turkey imported about 48,500 tons of waste per month, more than 33,000 tons in 2018. The problem for the Turkish branch of Greenpeace non-governmental organization is the lack of transparency and control over the waste management. Environmental advocates are currently concerned about the massive influx of masks, gloves, and other protective equipment used during the new coronavirus epidemic. After the signing of the Treaty of Service in 1920, Armenia Silesia and the French mandate was ceded to Mustafa Kemal contrary to international law. By signing with the Grand National Assembly of Turkey, the Treaty of Angora for a period of 1990 years. The Armenians of Silesia were massacred by armed terrorists on the orders of Mustafa Kemal and deported to Syria and Lebanon. Within the framework of the exhibition entitled Centennial Armenian Graphics, which opened at the Style Graphics Museum in Gyumri, more than 150 Armenian classical and contemporary artists of the last 100 years are presented with 400 exhibits. As reported by Arman Press, the exhibition is unique as it expresses the continuity and the connection of the Armenian fine arts between the generations, completing the school of Armenian graphics. In addition to Armenian artists, the exhibition also features Armenian artists from around 15 countries. The exhibition was organized with the support of Republic of Armenia Ministry of Education, Science, Culture and Sports. It will last until 1st of May 2021. The art-loving public can get acquainted with the exhibition online following the Facebook page of the Style Graphics Museum. Now let us represent your attention a song by Maratuk Ensemble.
You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.